Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. Be not conformed to this world. So it says be not conformed to this world. Meaning we can't listen to what this world is telling us because this world is leading us to death. You understand that, young brother? That means you can't follow games. Right. You know what I'm saying? You can't follow drill music. You understand what I'm saying? You can't follow that stuff that's going to lead you to a, a life of destruction. Because that stuff is what's killing our youth, man. This drill music garbage, it's trash. It's trash. Read. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. So, um, there's a lot of laws in this book, right, that we're supposed to be keeping, right? And uh, the officer said, R bring uh, Psalms 19 and 7 out again. Bring that out again. Because he brought that out, right? And th this world teaches us that Christ is the only person that's perfect, right? He was the only person that could do that, right? Well, then if that's the case, then why would this be written in the Bible? Read. Psalms chapter 19, verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. You hear that? Moses, did you hear that? Because they say Christ is the only person that's perfect, right? But this verse right here says this. The law of the Lord is perfect. The law of the Lord is perfect. So when God said uh, for us to dress a certain way, that helps, us, that helps makes us perfect. When he says he gave us dietary laws, that makes our temple perfect, right? Because you know what I'm saying? This is just a used vessel that we're in right now for a certain uh, disposition of time. And then we go back to the Father. So when we go back to the Father, we want this temple to be clean, right? Do you smoke? You smoke? Give me that real quick. You smoke? What you smoke? We And this world right here, right? This world is legalized. They didn't only legalize it. They said it's, um, first it was medical, now it's recreational. That means anybody could smoke you, right? That's hatred. These people hate us. Again, remember the officer was bringing out, who, who's the white man? Who is he? Enemy. Our enemy. So our enemy, if you have an enemy, is you doing anything to help him? You think marijuana helps us? Don't just walk across. Smoking and putting that stuff in our lungs, you think that helps us? Check this out, read. First Corinthians chapter three, verse 16. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you, if any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? If you defile the temple of God, you are made to be a God. You are made to be a God. We are God's on earth. So if we defile this temple, read it again. If any man defile the temple of God, if any man defile the temple of God, right? With any pork, shrimp. Say that again. How to love your people? Okay, that's what we're going over. We're going over how we love our people. First off, right now we're showing each other how we how we don't defile our temples, right? Because you don't smoke, you look too young to smoke. All uh, right, you eat uh, shrimp, catfish. All right, all praises because that, that that's some defiled stuff. Read. If any man defile the temple of God. Him shall God destroy. So it says, Him shall God destroy. How can God destroy us by us defiling our temples? How, Kurt, how, can, he how can He destroy us? It can make us sick. He can give you cancer. They say that marijuana don't cause cancer, right? He's going over. Marijuana causes other things because you're tearing up your lungs. Your lungs aren't designed to have foreign smoke in, ingested into it. Just like our bodies aren't designed to have stuff that's unclean. That's why God said it's unclean to us. When he said shrimp, catfish, lobster is unclean because it does something to our body. Pork. Pork. That thing causes diabetes, 
high blood pressure, uh, blood clots. The pork, a pig is like the um, garbage disposal of the earth. That's what the pig is. You, I know you heard that saying, you are what you eat, right? So if you eating a pig, then you eating garbage. That's what they're saying. Read it. For the temple of God is holy, which temple ye are. So you men are holy. What's your name, bro? Jedekiss, like the rapper. Okay, Jedekiss. This Kirk and this Moses. You know these brothers? All right, look, that's one thing we like to teach you love, right? We need to see each other as our brothers. But that's, that's what's going to change the crime in Chicago, if we looked at each other as brothers. You know what I'm saying? Because we let streets, blocks, and gangs divide us for far too long, right? So we're going to show you, I'm going to show you someone love, right, real quick. Finish that off, though. Give me uh, Titus 3 and 3. Because a lot of us was involved with gang life, right? You know what I'm saying? Because it was part of the neighborhood. That's what you grew up in. Your uncles, your cousins, your brothers, your sisters. Everybody was part of a gang. So, so we think that's what we're supposed to be doing, right? That's what we think we're supposed to be doing. But this is a form of love, right? Changing our minds. That's right. Being converted. Right. Coming away from the stuff that's, that this world put in place to help destroy us. Remember when the officer was bringing out Deuteronomy 28:48, it said, until we are destroyed. Now we destroy. We don't know our nationality. We don't know what's clean and what's unclean. And we think gangs is what's happening in the streets. Read. Titus chapter 3, verse 3. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish. So all these men in purple, ourselves, were sometimes foolish. We was different gangs. We, we know each other because of this Bible. This is how we met. And now I could go to any one of these brothers' house, and they could come to my house. They could be around my wife. I could be around their wife. And we don't have to worry about nothing strange happening because we come back to God's law, statutes, and commandments. They convert us. Remember, the officer said it makes you a completely different person. It makes you a better person. These laws change you and teach you how to love one another. Come on. Disobedient. Deceived. Serving diverse lust. So we was disobedient. Deceived. How was we deceived, Kirk? Right, we was taught to uh, worship this right here. White, a white image. You was taught to worship a white image, right? You was taught to worship a white image. That's how we was deceived. We was deceived by the person who told us Christ is white when the Bible clearly says he's a black man. So we was deceived. Yeah, they knew who we were. They knew who they brought over here from Africa. They knew. They knew we was God's children. They knew we was the Israelites. So we was deceived. Read that part again. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish, disobedient, deceived. Disobedient. How was we disobedient, Moses? By not keeping God's laws. Exactly. Exactly. So we was disobedient. We was just we was disobedient by not keeping his laws. And then we allowed ourselves to be deceived because we was beat. It was beat into our backs during slavery. That's right. To God, this is a severe. This is nothing because we still here. If it was severe, we wouldn't be here. Right. We the same people. We the same people. Remember, this temple is this temple is temporary. The spirit is forever. So we could have been back then. You could have lived back then. And your spirit just put in another body, bro. It's called regeneration. Meaning we've been on this earth several different times. We've been on this earth several different times. But this is our last time to get it right. This is our last shot. We have been here. I know I've been here before. I know it. I feel it in my spirit when I read this book. When I'm reading this book of my ancestors, it resonates with me. That's how I should resonate with you. We go, I'm going to show you something when we finish this up. Come on. Serving diverse lust and pleasures. Living in malice and envy. Hateful. Hateful. Living in envy and hateful. We got that all throughout Chicago, don't we, sis? What's your name, sis? Lynette. Lynette. All right, so Jada Kiss, Lynette, Kirk, Moses. I'm Maccabees. I took my name out the Bible and got it legally changed because I'm a firm and true believer that this is my heritage. So I gave the slave master his name back because all our names are slave master names because we was all slaves at one point in time, right? 
That's right, when the officer was bringing out that we are yet this day in our captivity. Yeah, because we still got them slave names. Right. So we are yet this day still in our captivity. But now we waking our people up. That's why we come out here to wake up you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans to you, who you truly are. And that's God's chosen people. All right, come on. Hateful and hating one another. So we hate one another. That's why you got 63rd and O Block at war, and they one block apart from each other. How, how much sense does that make? And some of them are related. Some of them are related. They mamas that raised the other kid, and that mama that raised that other kid. And now they're at war with one another, killing each other. Talk about get back. We part of the white man's problem. Well, we, we helping the white man, right? If they hate us and they want to see us dead, they separate us with guns, drugs, and gangs. And set us at war with each other. Right? So this is how we come back from all that by showing love to one another. Come on, keep finish that. Alright, uh, what was I finna have you go to? Go to Romans. Go to Romans. You know what I want? The book of Romans, chapter 8 and verse 16. The spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. So the reason I had him go there, right? Because I said I have no doubt that this is my heritage. That's why I legally changed my name. I'm truly convinced that I am a child of God from the tribe of Israel, from the tribe of Judah. All right? Read it again. The spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit. So my spirit bear witness with the word of God. So as I'm reading this book, I'm resonating and I'm like, that's me. That's why I chose that name. I said, that's me. That was me back in the, back in the book. You have to literally see yourself in the Bible to, to truly get a true understanding of it. Have you ever been told you were Israelite? Huh, sis? Well, I ain't been to sis, you ain't gonna hear this in church. In church, they gonna say, we are children of God, right? Read that again. The book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 16. The spirit itself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. So if your spirit bear witness with the word of God, that's the only way you're going to be considered a child of God, right? Hey, shalom, my brother. Hey, pull up. Come on over, bro. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See, this word is going out. People are learning that they are Israelites. They are God's chosen people. That's right. But it's a lot of us that are still stuck in Christianity and in Catholic and Baptist, uh, Islam, all these different man-made religions. What's losing them, the, the, it's helping to lose them, right? We're here to wake you up. Let's read it again. The spirit itself bears witness with our spirit. So the word of God is spiritual, right? So when things in this book are meant for us to follow, right? That's why we was talking about the laws, right? Certain, there are certain things we're not supposed to eat that God put in here that we are not supposed to eat. Give me one, sister, we ain't supposed to eat. Uh, that's, uh, apples. Apples. No, I said animals. Animals. No, we can eat meat. No, it's, it's certain, well, I don't There's certain know. types of meat that we can't eat, though. Right. Like pig. Right. That's one of them. That's you eat pork, bro? Huh, Jada Kiss? Like that. It don't matter how you eat it. <laughs> Bring it out. Hey, bro, what you mean not, uh, like that? If you eat it, you eat it. What about catfish? Because, hey, I was raised up on catfish. My grandmama worked at a cat farm and fishing. She, uh, hey, when the Mississippi flooded, she'd go out in the yard and get catfish. But the most high God said that stuff is unclean us, right? So we're not supposed to eat it. Because, like I told you, the pig is the garbage, uh, garbage disposal of Earth. The catfish is the garbage disposal of the uh, sea, the uh, rivers, the lakes, the ponds. Lobsters and crabs are the garbage disposal of the ocean. All these things are bottom feeders. So the Most High God said not to eat these things, right? So we have to come back to serving God, right? We got to come out of, give me Romans 4 and 2. We have to come back to the Bible and come out of what this world says. This world has been deceiving us, right? That's why we went to Titus 2, because we've been deceived and we've been disobedient, right? Because when Moses brought us out of uh, Egypt, we agreed to, to keep all these laws, statutes, commandments. Right. We agreed. I enjoy, I'm dry, I'm but the more we live in, in this society, the more they beat us down, wear us out like they did right here during slavery. 
They gave us all their religion during slavery. We didn't know none of that stuff. When you look up the history, all white people started all these religions. But why are we reading out this book? Because it's our book. This is our book. All right? Read the book of Romans, chapter 12, verse 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. You hear that? Because that goes back into Psalms 19 and 7, right? Be converted, changing. Read it again. And be not conformed to this world. So it says, be not conformed to this world. Meaning, we can't listen to what this world is telling us. Because this world is leading us to death. You understand that, young brother? That means you can't follow gangs. Right. You know what I'm saying? You can't follow drill music. You understand what I'm saying? You can't follow that stuff that's going to lead you to a, a life of destruction. Because that stuff is what's killing our youth, man. This drill music garbage, it's trash. It's trash. Read. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Read from the top. And be not conformed to this world. What ways we are conformed to this world? Okay, Jada Kiss, what ways we conform to this world? It's ways we are conformed to this world by taking on rappers' names like Jada Kiss. That's being conformed to this world, bro. Jada, Jada Kiss is not doing nothing that's uplifting our people and helping them change the uh, change the way we live it. He on D Block. What they doing on D Block? Exactly. You don't know, but you claiming that name. That's what I'm talking about. Being conformed to this world. Look, brother. What's your name? That's your real name. Damn. <laughs> What's your name, little brother? Tony? All right, that's Anthony, all right, and uh, Kurt. Uh, hey, how are we conform to this world? This is where we was at. What's going on your block? Where you live? What's going on over there? Nothing really? You go to church? Your mama don't take you to church? What's the point on that, though? What about, what you learning in school? All right, so check it out. How old you is? 16? Check it out. We conform to this world by their education. Because they run the whole school system, don't they? From, from uh, kindergarten all the way up to college. They run all that stuff. We conform by their teachers. What do they teach us in the school? When I was in elementary school, we had to pledge allegiance to the flag. That's being conformed to this world. And when I was in elementary, they was teaching us Valentine's Day. They was teaching us Christmas, Mother's Day, Father's Day. All that is being conformed to this world. The Bible says what? And be not conformed to this world. So be not conformed to this world. Meaning we're not going to do the things that this world teaches us. We're going to do thus saith the Lord what the Bible says do. Read on. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. So we have to renew our mind. We have to come back to our heritage. Come back to who we truly are. And that's God's chosen people. That's what we have to do. Come on. That ye may prove what is that good. And accept that we may prove that which is good. This here is what's good. Get that real quick. The Bible is what's good. The Bible is what's good, right? The things that this world teaches is not good. This world taught us gangbangers. This world is the inventor of niggas. Niggas. This world invented niggas. Because we royalty. But we don't see ourselves in that reason. The book of Romans, chapter 7, verse 12. Wherefore, the law is holy, and the commandment holy, and just, and good. And what? And good. So God's laws and commandments is what's good. That's what's good. Anything else is obsolete. Go back to Romans. Read. And be not conformed to this world. So we got to be not conformed to their religions. 
to their social media, to their politics. That's why we don't vote. Because it don't matter for us. It right. don't. Them, them, uh, what they call them? them Democrats, Republicans, yeah. all them people in politics, they are not for us. If they were for us, we'd have better schools. You know what I'm saying? Our communities would be better. Our schools are the ones closed down, exactly. Yeah, all the schools in like half of these areas are just closed down. Exactly, because they're not for us. That's why we cannot be conformed to we got a home school. Come on. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. That perfect, remember we were talking about perfect. That perfect will of God. God's laws is what's gonna make you perfect. That's why first you must know who you are, then second you must know the laws that you're supposed to keep in order to make you perfect, right? And then you have to repent. We have to come out of America and all the things that we've been taught here and come back to God's law, statutes, and commandments. Y'all understand? What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example.